Bring in our uh, narrator, please. Narrator. Hi, Nick. Hey, guys. Ready for you. Was Kelly Raspberry's uncle really a secret government spy? Does Big Al have what it takes to stick to the script? No. <laughs> Will Jenna be happy with the number of lines she has? <laughs> Can JC do his bicep curls while we do this bit? <laughs> I can't wait to find out as Kid Craddock in the morning, not ready for drive time players, present Red Raspberry, Agent 00Y2, a license to drive. Theme song. Red Raspberry is coming from the town of Mullen. He knows all the things that secret agents know. <laughs> He's got flying squirrels, gadgets, cars, and girls. But if you see him, don't acknowledge him on the street. <laughs> so when you're in danger, he will be your savior. Oh, yeah. Great. <laughs> As you remember, in last week's spine-tingling adventure, <laughs> after having a nice but slightly overpriced lunch at Bennigan's, Red Raspberry, a.k.a. Double O Wide, used his secret agent skills to uncover a human trafficking web at a modeling school. Valdotti's, yeah, that was good. Mm-hmm. And before anything dramatic took place, he escaped to the safety of his mansion in the woods. Yeah. Right now, let's listen as Red enters the top-secret government lab. I mean, the Mullen, South Carolina Jiffy Lube. Mm. That's a lab? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Welcome to Jiffy Lube. Would you be interested in our special oil change tire rotation and air freshening service for forty eight ninety nine, dude? That's a pretty good deal. Does that include tax? What would you want tax? Those are bad for your tires. They go no, pop. No, no, see, pop no, them? no, no, no. They, 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 they make Never bad. mind. I'm here looking for the general. Who? The general. Tell him it's Red Raspberry. Red Raspberry. Don't you own a car dealership? You could get your own tires rotated no, for no, free. Why would you be a, here? Not the car dealer. I'm the other one. <laughs> the government spy? That's me. You're double O wide? I'm double O wide, Red Raspberry, Whoa. the CIA's secret spy. Well, dude, let me get Lucas for you. All right. Hold on one second. Okay. Don't use any of those ninja moves until oh, I get back. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's up, sir? Apparently, they don't, oh, man, they don't, this is they don't so drug awesome. test here. Hey, Red. Hello, General. Let me ask you a question. Why does everybody here keep calling you Lucas? Oh, that. It's uh, it's my uh, my cover identity. Yeah. So, you know, when I'm working part-time here and part-time at Bennigan's, nobody knows who I really am. Well, you're really smart, General. You got some good covers working yep, there. Yep, yep, yep. Now, you may be wondering why I asked you here, Red. Well, the agency decided it's time to give you a super awesome secret agent car. Whoa! You mean like a James Bond car, like mm. a BMW that shoots missiles or a bulletproof Aston Martin with a machine gun on top? Exactly like that. Take a look here. It's a 1996 Geo Metro. Hmm. <laughs> well, not exactly a car I think a secret agent would drive. And uh, By the way, I can't drive a stick. So. Mm. Nobody will be expecting you in this. Yeah. And with 96 horsepower, no one will be able to catch you. Mm. Can I at least get a Camaro with an automatic? No! I lost the receipt, so we can't take it back to the pick and pull. But you're going to be extremely kind of satisfied with all the gadgets we've rigged inside. Like what? Well, this is Timber. Uh, this is Tiffany Amber Thiessen, mm-hmm. not the actress, by the way. Okay. She'll be explaining the gadgets to you. Hello, Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Well, hello, double wide. Double O wide. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. You sure have a manly voice for a woman scientist. And I think I see your Adam's apple. <laughs> I smoke a lot of unfiltered cigarettes. Anyways, this here is what the boys in the lab call a solar defector. A solar defector? What's it do? Well, that's why I'm here, to answer your questions. Mm. You place it in on your dashboard when you can fry an egg on the sidewalk, uh-huh. and it keeps your car seat from burning your butt. Oh, so it's one of them things you put in your windshield? <laughs> in your park somewhere? Yes, sir. Wow. You really know to... You really know how to talk in sign, science phrases. <laughs> what, <laughs> hey, what, hey, what kind of knife is that? That there is the Hamilton Beach Electric Turkey Carver. Wow. It's great for sword fights and carving turkeys. Just don't pull it out of the cigarette lighter in the car because that's how it works. Okay. The cord's a whole six feet, so no one should be able to outrun you. Man, the bad guys won't stand a chance against my Hamilton Beach Turkey Carver sword fight device. But yeah, also, this right there here is yeah. your Nano. This little thing? Yeah. It's so small. What is it? It plays music. <laughs> Oh, wait, you put your CD in there? <laughs> no, you load it through your computer. My what? 
It can store up to a thousand songs and have room left over for secret messages from the government. Are you telling me that I can put every one of Molly Hatchett's hits on this thing and still have room for 999 more songs? Yes, sir. Oh, my God. The government's amazing. Are you sure you're not a witch or from the future? You all right? Are you sure you're not a witch or from the future? I just love America and those who protect her. Especially those who pretend to own a car dealership but are really just a secret agent. Are you hitting on me? I can't tell. What's now? What's this metal thing do over here? That there is the big city slider station. Oh! It cooks up to six little hamburgers. That's incredible. I love being a secret agent. Yeah. It also, like every other thing I've shown you, yeah. plugs into your cigarette lighter. Okay. So if you want a stakeout, you don't have to leave it in your car to eat. Now I notice everything plugs into the uh, cigarette lighter, but the. the the Neo only has one cigarette lighter in it. Well, how about these? Uh-huh. Inside this tiny bag is the secret to infiltrating any corporate office and passing yourself off as an executive. Come on, I could see a ton of need for something like that. Hold out your hand. Okay. These are the Man Groomer Biz Wipes. <laughs> man Groomer Biz Wipes. With these... You'll come out of the bathroom fresh and clean. And since they're executive scent, everyone will think you're a big shot at the company. Because I'll smell like an executive. Yeah. From from my butt? Yes. (laughs) We think of everything right here. This is exactly how we got Ben Laden. With the with the butt thing? <laughs> with the butt wipes? Yes. Will you move out of the dang way? Oh, man. I've been waiting to get my oral change for 20 daggum minutes. Zip it, Rhonda! This right here is red raspberry. The car dealer? <laughs> no! The other one. Oh, my. Didn't we do this bit already? Yes. Um. <laughs> Pull around to parking bay, too. Well, 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 Red Raspberry, <laughs> the most recognizable secret agent, huh? That would be me. Would you be interested in some top secret Russian plans I happen to be in possession of? Well, that would be a very unusual and random happenstance if Rondo from Potluck has secret <laughs> Russian plans, but I guess it's possible. Is that a yes or a no? It's a yes. Sorry, I'm trying to use big words like happenstance, because I think this science woman's kind of hitting on me and wants to get a little bit of red raspberry tonight. Well, I have evidence that them Russians are launching a sophisticated plot to kidnap Honey Boo Boo and hold her for a ransom. I am on it. I gotta get there right away and protect her. Hey, Lucas. Is this thing gonna start or. Come on, baby. Hey, give her some gas. Come on, baby. Give her some gas there, Red. The Russians aren't that quick. Hit, hit the dashboard. That's what you have to do sometimes. Well, I guess we could walk. <laughs> <sighs> Kid Credit in the morning.